What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet, and this is my rambling series, I call it my vlogging series, in which I talk about life, the universe, and things around us, and things that are particularly interesting to me, and I hope you find that interesting. If you don't, remember, there's plenty of other things to watch on the channel. Uh, in this series, I tend to talk about myself, so I hope you can bear with me. I get a lot of stuff uh, to say about what's going on in my life and what's going on around me. Um, I start off with my... One of the most commonly <laughs> reported things I ever report here on the Rambling Series, uh, I ended up getting sick again a third time this year. People always say, whenever I post something, somebody will say, Do you, are you ever not sick? Surprisingly, I am, but that's rare and in between. Um, between the messed up teeth and the, the, the lymphedema and being the size of a truck and turning 42 this week, I am I'm a fat old man, and as they say, there's a lot of fat people, there's a lot of old people, there's not a lot of fat old people. Um, oh, old fat people, I guess, is probably close. So, yeah, as you can imagine, I've been pretty sick. Last week was another infection in the lymphedema, um, which I caught by playing too much po Pokemon Go. People are always like, Boogie, get up and walk around, get up and walk around. They don't realize how actually dangerous that can be with lymphedema. I have to limit the amount of walking I was doing. Well, I walked too much. And had my legs down for too much, which caused additional swelling, which led to one of those routine infections I get. Fortunately, we caught it right away, went to the clinic, got some antibiotics, uh, followed up with my general practitioner, got some bed rest, got my legs elevated, uh, kept, uh, kept things nice and easy. Meant I had to back off a little bit on Pokemon Go, though, which is okay, um, because I was getting pretty obsessed with that game. Me and my wife were driving around. Uh, and uh, going to parks and going to places and, and doing way too much. And the heat was really getting to me. But I'm proud to say that since Pokemon came out, I have lost uh, close to 15 pounds, around 13.5 pounds, and I'm hoping to keep it off. Um, part of that's also the medication that my doctor's got me going on again. We've got uh, doubled up on the testosterone and some other diabetes medication, stuff like that. I'm eating better. I'm doing better. I'm working better. I'm, I'm doing good. And of course, I was sick, but um, boy, if I could keep weight loss up like that, wouldn't that be great? I hope that I can. So I'm going to keep playing the game, and I'm going to keep getting out every day. And uh, having fun doing it. Uh, that, unfortunately, though, Pokemon got me back into some other stuff that I had not been into for a while. I started uh, uh, playing the Pokemon, uh, let's see, I think it was Omega Red, Ruby is what I started playing on my 3DS. Couldn't get into it. Uh, decided to download the trading card game app. This is not an endorsement in any stretch of the imagination, so please don't think I'm even recommending you do this. But I downloaded the trading card game app and uh, started messing around with it, and I was actually really, really surprised. It turns out that you can purchase physical product, uh, actual Pokemon cards. I went out and bought some, and you can redeem the, the decks and stuff that you buy in the app as well. So that was kind of cool. Uh, so I went, I, when I was at my local gaming store for the pre-release uh, the other night, I went ahead and picked up a few Pokemon decks, which I'm hoping to show my wife uh, now that she's getting obsessed with Pokemon. Hopefully we'll play these decks together, and we'll have a little bit of fun. And of course, I can, I, I can play those decks on the app as well. I'm not very good at the, the trading card game, but then again, I'm not very good at all of them. But that's been my rotation for games this week. It's been uh, Pokemon Go, uh, World of Warcraft on stream, and we'll talk about that in a minute. It's been um, Magic the Gathering in real life, playing with my wife. Uh, been uh, uh, playing on my iPad, Magic the Gathering duels, doing my dailies there. World of, uh, uh, World of Warcraft on stream, I said that. Uh, but Hearthstone on my iPad, doing my dailies there, and now the, the doing my dailies on the trading card game. I love free apps like that. I like being able to grind up and get the gold and do the dailies. That just does it for me. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. And I guess that's why Pokemon Go does that for me. I know a lot of people are against the phenomenon. A lot of my viewers are like, it's stupid. The game's not that good. You're right. Watch my review if you really want to understand why I like it. But the major thing is there's so many people playing it, and there's so many of my friends playing it. It's fun to share it with the people out there. And here's what I think. Even if you don't particularly like the game, I think the social impact of this game is important. Um, I've heard so many stories, uh, uplifting stories about family members and friends, like obviously me and my wife or my friends, but uh, other people who have strange family, strange friends, getting into this game and having that to connect with, connecting with my um, nephew who's in town for the weekend and him playing Pokemon Go with us and, and, and driving up and down Dixon Street and, and, and walking uh, around the, the square and, and doing that with him, going to the parks with him. It's been amazing. Um, but I think probably the most important thing about Pokemon Go here in the United States is it has led to a lot of positive interaction between our police force and our people. And that's something we really needed right now. I think that is probably the most 
healing thing about Pokemon is seeing cops play the game and play it with the people that they they protect and serve, and those people appreciating it and keeping us safe during that. What a wonderful moment in time. So even if you can't appreciate the game, which is understandable because the game's not great, I hope people can at least appreciate that. I don't know. I, I, I wanted to put that somewhere. I wanted to put that thought somewhere, and I'm so glad you let me put it into your head today. Um... So health-wise, doing all right. I got over the infection. I think I'm out of the clear or into the clear now with it. The leg's still real sore, but that's going to be that way for a while. Lost a few pounds, got plenty of bed rest, drank plenty of fluids, relaxed, played some games with my wife, my family, and my friends. So World of Warcraft, that's what we should talk about. I think I'm ready to finally play World of Warcraft in moderation. So I've made an agreement with myself. I will play it on stream only. And so for the last week, I've been messing around with the Legion beta. Uh, again, not an endorsement of any type here. I just, I'm not getting paid or anything like that. But I went ahead and downloaded the Legion beta, and I started messing around with it. And I have to say, Demon Hunters are pretty fun. And I like to say I like the way the mechanics work. I like the new Malay Hunter. I like the new Rogue. I like all the, a lot of the stuff they've added. I like the way my warrior plays now. I'm overall pretty excited with the, the game. And I'm looking forward to going back with Legion. I think we'll be creating a guild on the Proud Moor server so that we can play with friends and family. I think... Um, the patch that's supposed to get everything ready for the expansion might hit this Tuesday. And if it does, during stream time, we'll put together that guild. And uh, we'll mess around. I don't know. We'll just have some fun together. Um, I feel like I'm finally at a point in my life where I'm happy enough and healthy enough to where I don't need that game the way that I used to all those years ago. I feel like I'm at a point where I can just play the game a little bit, like a game, not a lifestyle. And I don't want to raid or anything like that. I just want to tool around in it, do the, do the, the leveling together, uh, mess around with some dungeons and stuff like that, and just be done. Uh, <laughs> time will tell, and if I'm wrong, I'll quit the game Cold Turkey altogether. Again, and we'll move on to something else. I know there's plenty of great games coming out, uh, like No Man's Sky is coming out soon, and God, what else is coming out this month? So many good games. Sorry this one's been all about video games for you guys. Um, me and my wife are doing together, uh, doing uh, better than ever. I'm very, very happy with the way things are going with my, my relationship, my friends, my family, my life. Um, having family coming to visit is fantastic. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, it's my birthday. It's time to party like it's my birthday. I turned 42. <laughs> I know a lot of people when they hear that, they don't believe it. But I think the gray in the beard is starting to really give it away these days. That I'm an old, old, old man. Especially for, you know, the way I've lived. And the things I've done to this body. I'm a very lucky man to be as old as I am. And, uh, you know, 42 doesn't really mean that much. Certainly doesn't mean as much as 40 did. Certainly doesn't mean much as 30. And doesn't mean anywhere near as much as 21 or 18. But... I'm just so glad to be here. Another trip around the sun, and I got to share it with you guys. So I'm just a happy man right now. It's weird. It's weird because I feel like I've been happy for the last few months, just, just kind of happy, not really sad, not really depressed, not really struggling. My anxiety seems to be pretty well taken care of. My depression seems to be pretty well taken care of. I'm cutting back on eating because of it. I'm exercising more because of it. And, you know, it, it's funny, with Pokemon Go and hanging out with my wife and going to these places and being more active... I almost feel like I've experienced what you kids call fun. <laughs> it's, I think I've been having fun. It's weird. It's weird. Um, because sometimes I feel like all that bad shit that happened to me so long ago is like a bad dream I had. And sometimes it feels like this is the dream. Because this is my dream. I mean, this is my dream. I'm living my dream every day. It's everything I could have ever hoped for, everything that I could have ever dreamt for. And it's not perfect, obviously. You know, with the, the, the weight issues and always having to be at the doctor and always being sick and everything else. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not the perfect version, but it's close enough to where I count my blessings every day. And I, I count you as the reason for them. And don't forget that. Please never forget that. I, you know, people get on to me all the time for saying at the end of the videos, Boogie, you say that you love people. You love me. Yeah, well, I do, man. I, I mean, not the way that I love my wife or, you know, even a close friend. I love you not just for the things that you've done for me. And that's amazing. I appreciate that, but I love you in the same way that I love all other people. Right down for the nastiest little shit, typing the most hateful shit in the comments section, to the people that came to VidCon to hug me there. I love you guys as much as I can, which is as much as I love every other fellow human being. Man, I love you guys. I love the human race. I love the human experience. I'm so glad to be a part of it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Just some thoughts I had to get out of my head today. 
And I hope you guys are having a great summer. I hope you're having a great weekend. I hope you're getting to do some fun stuff, whether it's Pokemon Go or, or, or Pokemon Go Fuck Yourself, whichever for you, <laughs> however you feel about that game, whatever you're doing this summer, I hope it's a good one for you. You deserve it. And if it's not good, uh, I hope it's, you know, it's not too late to have some real fun this summer, and I really hope you guys do. Guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again very soon.